Yeah, hello everybody, Joseph Greenbound Gold Trap. Been here for a while now, but I figured I'd just shoot some short video and uh, do a little discussing about the gold trap here. I'll get back in a little bit. No rest. No, no. I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, no. This ain't easy, darling. Cause the devil was on my trail. I've been running. see I do have a little bit of current but once I get over to the hole that I'm digging in right over in here if I walk down because I don't know how well you can see it on screen I gotta be careful because these rocks are slippery most of the current is dissipating and going through the dam so once it gets to the gold trap it's not really a whole lot of push I'm not in direct current. See how most of it's going through the dam. So, with a fluid bed, it's it's all about water velocity. I've said that many times. And it's it's not length of the gold trap because with a traditional sluice, it's a one inch drop per foot. So this being three feet, your starting point would be a three inch drop on the end so that's your starting point but your objective with a fluid bed and with the black ABS type you're not going to be able to see it but with the clear one you can your objective is to get the water coming off from the end of the skid plate entering the capture tray to be hitting the front of this wall that's your objective. So then it pushes all your material backwards. Then you've got your fluidization bubbling things on the inside. And I do see some gold. Right in there. So I've punched a pretty good hole right here so far. in front of this, or behind this boulder. I moved that one out of there. Moved a bunch of them out, actually. But, we'll see what I get here. 
I don't know how much longer I'm going to be here. I came down to do something entirely different, but I only got two pieces of gold. We're in search of something that eventually you'll see, but we're going to keep it quiet. So, get back in a little bit. Alright, so I've walked, worked this hole down pretty deep. Didn't do too bad, but not as much as I'm used to, but for just this small area, I guess it's not too bad. I've already done a clean out, and while I was still digging, James showed up. So that's cool. But now it's late, and I gotta get going here pretty quick, but I'll get back to you in a sec with the, uh, the camera on the phone, and show you the gold back in a bit all right so that's what I got just digging that hole got to be a good 60 pieces or so that's not too bad not too shabby I actually see that hole better with this camera. You can see James better too. He's over there rocking his three foot riverbed hog. Alright, so I went across the river and I tested that gravel bar. I did two holes, one up further and one down a little bit further. The second hole I did find a piece of gold over there. But I've got everything all packed up. I'm going to be headed home. James is still over there digging under that rock. So I'm out of here. I'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like or dislike. Both helps the channel. And uh, comment, share, and subscribe. Take care, everybody.